one final presentation for you and this one is going to be a fantastic one. Last but not least, we have from the Chinese wedding shop, Michelle, who will share some tips on what to prepare for Guo Da Li, An Chuan, and other customary procedures. The Chinese wedding shop is passionate about the Chinese wedding traditions, ensuring that these customs subsist and flourish. They wish to assist couples in discovering, appreciating, and passing on these traditions to future generations. Ladies and gentlemen, please ask your questions via the Q&A webinar feature during the presentation so Michelle can answer your queries live. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Michelle from the Chinese Wedding Shop. Hello, everybody. Hi, My name is Michelle. Michelle. Hello. Can you all see me? Yes. Okay. Well, my name is Michelle. Uh, I'm from the Chinese Wedding Shop, and um, we are here today to introduce some of the items that you actually require for your Huo Da Li, your An Chuang, your Shu Tou, your wedding day essentials, all the things that you actually require for your customary wedding. So um, let's start with uh, Huo Da Li. So what is Guo Da Li? Guo Da Li is actually a day, about two or three weeks before your wedding day, that uh, the groom will actually bring along a lot of gifts for the bride's family, for the bride's parents. So uh, those gifts include a lot of food items and they also include candles. We'll start with the candles first. Candles are given on Guo Da Li day. So the groom will actually bring over two, two pairs of candles. The bride's family will actually receive one pair and give him back one pair. What type of candles to be used on, on the wedding day itself will depend on what dialect group that you are in. So if you want to find out more, please come to us and then uh, contact us directly with your dialect group and then we will actually explain to you which one that you will use you will use on that day. So the candles are to be lit on the wedding day together. So the bride and groom family will actually light it up together at the same time. So other than candles, the groom will also bring over a lot of food items representing the dialect groups of the bride and the groom. So we have got some food items such as mi lao, ma lao, and gong teng. So these are to be used by the Hokkien's. And uh, we also have zi ma hua sheng tang, tian tou tian wei de yi si. So zi ma hua sheng tang is actually used by Teochews. All these food items, when the groom brings over, it will be brought over in pairs. So the bride will actually uh, keep one set and return one set to the groom. So other than these two, we also have he tao, so this is actually used by the uh, Cantonese and the Hakas. And then, uh, oh, of course, we also have our pork leg cans. These are very, very uh, popular. This actually rep represents the prosperity of the groom. So uh, meaning that, you know, he's prosperous enough to marry, to marry the bride. And these are to be given in pairs to the bride's family as well and uh, in even even numbers. So it's to be brought over in even numbers and the bride will actually return a uh, half or maybe two cans to the group. So we also have, these are the wedding grains that are required to make the, uh, the, tea, the tea for the tea ceremony on the wedding day. So a lot of people don't know this, but the tea for the wedding day is actually which is red dates tea. It's not Chinese tea and it's not green tea. So all these grains actually have their own meaning. We've got Zhao Sheng Gui Zi, so Yuan Yuan Man Man, Bai Tou Dao Lao, Tian Tian Mi Mi, Bai Nian Hao He, Hai Lian Lian Sheng Zi de Yi Si. So same thing, two boxes are brought over to the bride's side and then the bride's family will accept one box and return one box to the groom. So, um, so all these four items you see here are necessary to bring over. Together with, uh, the groom will actually ask the bride how many boxes of cakes that the bride will actually need to distribute to her relatives. So we have got some cakes here, as you can see. This is actually, we have got the modern ones, like the cupcakes. And then we also have Swiss rolls that you can bring over. All these are made with premium buttercream. So you don't have to refrigerate them for the first two days. And then we have the old school buttercream cakes. These are very popular and they're very nice and soft. Very, very yummy. And then, uh, so depending on the number of, uh, number of boxes that the bride will need to distribute to a relative, the groom will bring over the number that is dictated. So brides, please remember to tell the groom that let's say, for example, you need 20 boxes to give to your mother's relatives and your father's relatives. Please ask him to bring 22 boxes so that you can, you can return him two boxes. So you can't keep all, so you just have to return him two. So just add two on top of whatever number that you need. And just make sure that it's in even numbers. So if you need 
19. Uh, top it up to 20 and I ask him to bring 22. So return him two. So you have one extra box left. Okay. You can eat it actually. <laughs> so we have got uh, Tau Sapia as well. So other traditional cakes, like for example, this is our Hokkien Wutian Pa Serping. And we also have the Tau Zou Liu Serping. And we also have the Cantonese and the Hakas Long Feng Ping, Lao Po Ping. This is the Chin Dei for the Hainanese. And we also have Lao Ma Gao and Akong Pia, which are for the grandparents. So there's actually a lot, a lot of um, different uh, food items required for Kuo Da Li. So uh, there's a lot more, like mian xian, traditional ones like mian xian. Then we have got ge pia, which is the dried oranges. And then um, ge hong also, the ji hong, the little little soft candy. So uh, if there is a list from the bright side and then it's not in our package, you can always let us know what, is, what are the other things that you need. We actually do sell them. It's just that it's not commonly being seen. Just let us know what you actually need and we see whether we can do something personalized for you, right? So these are, we also have coconuts. For the Cantonese, these are very, very important. Yes, yes, when the yes. So that means to have a lot of uh, grandchildren surrounding you. So these are all the food items that you need to bring. So other than all these uh, food items, you also need to bring over two bottles of alcohol. So either red wine or hot liquor. And you also need to bring along an even number of oranges. So either 12 oranges or 18 oranges, depending on your dialect group again. So the bright side will actually return six or eight, depending on how many you bring. And uh, so other than the food items, we have got non-food items now. Everyone knows for Kuo Ta Li, that is the day when you actually bring over the Pin Jing and the Si Dian Jing and all the gold items over as well. So uh, the Pin Jing is actually placed in a red packet that says dowry. So it's a very big red packet because the Pin Jing, the Qian Fang Jing Shi, the Si Ho Fu Ke Yi so that means your money will come to you smoothly. So after you put the money inside, you actually use this red cloth, red silk cloth, and then you wrap around this. This everlasting red cloth actually is representative of our um uh, last time. So nowadays it represents Mingmei And we have got this. If you are Chiu Chiu, you will actually have this. So this represents Jia Gong Jia Po Teng Si Fu It's actually a piece of wax. So you place this on top as well. And very, very importantly, you have the Si Dian Jing He. So depending on your dialect group again, the kind of gold that you're going to use uh, is uh, Chiu Chiu will use the Si Dian Jing. The Hokkien's will use a pair of bangles, and then uh, Cantonese and Hakas will use a pair of uh, dragon and phoenix candles. So depending on dialect group, you have to put place the gold on the on this tray, and then you place the si dian jing, and you place the pin jing and the wax on top if you are chiu chiu. And Kuo Da Li Na Tian Shuang Shou, both hands, you present it to the bride's parents like this. Okay, so this is how you actually present your pin jing. The bride's parents, will actually pick up the wax, take out the cloth, and take out the gold as well, and take out the gold. So these three items are actually meant for the bride. So she'll, they'll pass it to the bride, and the bride will, bride will keep these three items. And then the dowry money, they will take some out, put some back, and then they will actually present it back to the groom. This is how you return the dowry money. And the tray itself, on the wedding day, you will actually use this tray place 12 oranges on the tray. And then there's another red packet that you need to use. On the wedding day, you will use the Li Ru Li Jing. This is what we call Si Niao Bu Tian, nappy red packet. So you use this uh, to thank the mother for bringing the daughter up. So on the wedding day itself, after you reach the bride's house, uh, you will actually give this Kai Zhe Men Li Jing to the bride's, uh, you actually give this Kai Zhe Men Li Jing to the bride's younger brother who opened the car door for you and then after that you go upstairs gate crash successful go in you actually present this and the oranges and the tree of oranges to the mother okay and then after that you can fetch the bride so other than this you actually also bring over door banners so we have got um door banners that you need to bring 
uh, de depending on the number of houses, so you need one door banner for the groom's house and one door banner for the bride's house. And you also need one door banner for the new house if there is. So depending on uh, the number of houses, that's the number of door banners that you need to bring over to the bride's house on Guota Lidi. So we actually hang this up on Guota Lidi all the way until the wedding day. And then uh, another 12 days after that, and if you want to even uh, hang it up longer all the way to Chinese New Year, you can. If not, you can take, take it out after the 12 days. So uh, that's it for the Kuota Li. So we can actually go on to Jia Zhuang. Jia Zhuang is actually the gifts that the bride's mother, uh, bride's parents will prepare for their daughter and for their future son-in-law. So these gifts are to be used on the wedding day itself. And they are also to be kept after the wedding for their blessings. So for example, we've got tea sets. So um, there's a lot of designs. You can actually see which design that you like. Tea sets are to be given on Guadali to the, to the groom. The groom will bring it home, show their parents, and then they'll take it out and wash them and prepare them for the wedding day. So on the wedding day, the tea ceremony at the groom's house is using this set of tea set from the bride's parents. After the wedding, the bride and the groom will actually keep this set. So, 每一个人结了婚过后都有自己的茶具。我们叫齐家茶具,这个也叫以后你们的孩子进你们的孝心, so it shows the filial party from your kids to you next time as well. And then after that, we have got the bowl sets. The bowl sets 在南家吃汤圆用, so 吃汤圆就是圆圆满满的意思. Then, um, your parents giving you the set of bowls actually represents abundance, so wishing you abundance as well. 给你们丰衣主食,不愁吃不愁穿的意思. Then we have got the lamps. The lamps are to be placed in the bridal room and is to be lit for 24 hours of during, uh, during the bridal day, during the wedding day. So it starts the night before the wedding at about 11ish. You actually switch on the pair of lamps and then uh, switch it on all the way during your wedding day until uh, you come back from your wedding and then you can switch it off. If you stay in the hotel, it's fine. You can switch it off the next day. So this represents so is to have future sons in the, uh, in the future. And then we also have sewing kits. So sewing kits actually represent the, the sewing machines. Last time, last time it used to be a sewing machine. Nowadays it's a sewing kit. So it represents that you, are, you have grown up enough to be a, a wife, a good wife and a good mother. And then other than the sewing kit, we have got mini wooden clocks. Last time it used to be the big ones that you have to wear them. Nowadays it's mini ones, you place them on the bed. So it's for you all to have a good progress in your career. And then next we have this very um, big baby prosperity set. This is very, very, very important. So you, nowadays you actually can choose between the big one or the small one. The big one you can, of course, your baby can actually uh, use it after that when it comes out a few years later. Or your small one you can actually keep them for its good blessing. The meaning of this, uh, the two sets is actually the same. So it actually represents Zhao Xuan Gui Zi. Then, Zi Sun Man Tang Li Yi Si. And the child will be very smart. You will have a lot of money. So there's going to be a ruler inside. This represents Liang Tian Liang Di. So uh, for you to have a lot of assets to measure. So that's when you have a lot of assets in the future. So either the big set or the small set represents the same thing. So you can use either nowadays. We also have very important charcoal. So this is tua tua tan tan. So it actually represents uh, that your husband is going to earn a lot, of, a lot of money so that he's got enough money to take care of you in the future. And we also have towels. Towels are to be used uh, on the first day of your bridal of your wedding day in a bridal room. So let's say you stay in the hotel. So when the first night when you come back from your hotel in a bridal room, you actually use these towels. So we have got face towels, we have got bath towels as well. So traditionally you need to have both, but nowadays you can have either. So we have a lot of different designs. You can choose which design that you like. And last but not least, your parents will have to give your future husband a red packet. So you have to give them a 女婿礼金. 
女婿礼金 is for him to 买裤子、裤带跟皮包。我们叫送田、送地、送富贵的意思。So we have got, uh, it's for him to buy a pair of pants, belt and wallet. So it's for his prosperity and for his assets in the future. And we have got Gan Zhe and Dai Lucy. These two are to be given on the wedding day. So on the wedding day, when you come and fetch the bride before you all leave the house, your parents will give you these two red packets. So Gan Zhe is for your peace, and Dai Lucy is for your happiness. So it's for you all to have happiness and safety in the future. So these are the three red packets that the bride side will have to give during uh Guo Dali and the wedding day. Okay, so other than uh, all these items, you will see that the you do you do you do remember that the groom will bring over two bottles of alcohol. Okay, two bottles of alcohol you keep. You will actually give him back two bottles of orange juice. This is 给你们大吉大利甜甜蜜蜜的意思 Yep. So these are all the items that you actually require for your 嫁妆 So these are all uh prepared by the Bride's parents, and then on the Guo Da Li Night, you pass it to the groom. So after this, after the Guo Da Li Day, you have a ceremony called An Chuang. An Chuang is actually、uh, a ceremony whereby the groom's parents or the bride's parents will set the bed for the couple. So whether it's the groom's parents or the bride's parents depend on whether your matrimonial bed is it in the groom's house or the bride's house. So this is the tray that you actually use to、uh, set the bed for the couple. So we have got Hong Zhao, Hua Sheng, Gui Yuan, 还有呃莲子 So that is Zhao Sheng Gui Zi, and then we have got Hong Dou, 代表富贵的意思百合百年好合 And we have got this prosperity bucket, 给你们聚福聚财就是 accumulate wealth and prosperity. And then uh we have got twelve packets of destiny coins, 元钱 These twelve packets have to be placed in the four corners of the bed, four corners of the wardrobe. Two pillowcases and two drawers. So, don't worry. Our base settings actually comes with a guide. So it's step by step telling you exactly what to do. So you just have to follow the guide. And then there's also a little An Chuang Ji Yu that you actually can read out. Your parents can actually can read out while while they are doing the An Chuang ah、uh, for you. Then we have got the An Chuang Li Ji. So your parents will actually put eight dollars inside and place it on top of this tray. So after the after the wedding, ah、uh, the couple get to keep it. Okay, so this is An Chuang. So the groom will actually prepare the An Chuang Han. This this set, this set is prepared by the groom. He will also prepare the new bed, and then the bride will actually prepare the Chuang Tan, which is the bed sheets. So we have got many different types of bed sheets. Just remember when you get bed sheets for your wedding, remember to get the full set bed sheets, which means you have. The quilt cover, the bed sheet, and the pillowcases. So all our sets come with two pillowcases, one fitted sheet, and one quilt cover. So they are all hundred percent cotton or silk cotton, depending on which design you choose and what quality that you choose. So we have got a lot of different designs you can actually choose from. So you can come to the shops to take a look. So this is for bed setting. So during the bed setting, your parents will actually change the bed sheets for you. Place the tray on top of the bed, put the destiny coins, and then after that, they will place all your、uh, dowry items on top of the bed, like the baby prosperity sets and the、um, the the takia, the wooden clocks, baby mini wooden clocks, and then the charcoal and all this, and then the lamps. Lamps are to be placed on the left hand side of the bed. Left hand side meaning when you lie down on your left hand side. Both lamps together on the left hand side. So and after you switch on the lamps for twenty four hours of your wedding day. So after you set the bed, the groom is not supposed to touch the bed anymore. Nobody is supposed to touch the bed. No, only the groom. So normally the groom uh will have to you know sleep on the mattress for one night or maybe going to go to the living room for one night. But it's only that one night. And then after that, when the bride enters the house and then they are married, they can actually sleep on the bed together. So after the bed setting, what do we do? We have hair combing, either the night before the uh the wedding or on the morning itself. We have a hair combing ceremony. So hair combing ceremony, you will actually need all this. We have a very simple and modern set nowadays. So this is the simple and modern set for hair combing nowadays. Last time there used to be um a rice bucket and candles. 要点蜡烛，现在不需要了。
So since I become more than just the groom and the bride will hold on to the ruler and the mirror. So holding on to the uh, ruler means that 长大了要有分寸。其实梳头是我们华人的一个成人礼,就是说我们长大了。So it's actually a, a, a process whereby we gain an adulthood and our you hold on to the mirror 代表 想一下, reflection, 想一下长大了要怎么, uh, then your parents will actually use the comb to go to and we have this three sentences that you have to read. Issue shu dao wei, er shu bai fa qi mei, san shu er shun man tang. So it all comes in a set. Jian dao shi zhang da le yao yu li yu de yi shi, so it's for your benefits in the future. And hong tou shen shi Issue shu dao wei wei hen chang de yi shi, so it's to have a long ending, long and beautiful ending, and it's also yi yuan jian. So these are the items required for shu tou nowadays, a modern a modern hair combing ceremony. So other than this set, this set is to be prepared by the groom. The bride will have to give him back his pajamas and his slippers. So let me show you some pajamas. We have got uh, different colors. We have got maroon, pink, gold, or red, which are more suitable for wedding. We have got ropes as well. So just remember when you buy your pajamas, it has to be long sleeve and long pants. 常常久久的意思, so it comes with pockets. So and then another thing that you actually need is slippers, bedroom slippers. So that actually represents Hong So after the hair combing ceremony, most of the time is either in the morning. Uh, the night before the wedding or the morning itself already. So there comes your wedding day. Your wedding day start, uh, is finally here. The big day is here. So what else do you need? For ladies, you will actually need fans. So depending on your dialect group again, we have got uh, Teochew's Hokkien's and Hainanese who use fans. And then we also have umbrellas. Umbrellas are very important to Cantonese to Hokkien as well. Actually, only Teochews don't use umbrellas. The rest of the dialect groups, they all use umbrellas. So umbrellas actually mean hao ming san. So for umbrellas, the bride's father will actually shelter the bride out to the car, to the wedding car. This represents giving her a good shelter for the rest of her life. So that's why umbrellas are so important. So this is hao ming san. hao ming de yi shi. And of course, uh, other than all this, you have to decorate your house up really nicely. So uh, we always say that you have to decorate your house nicer than Chinese New Year. So always remember, Chinese New Year comes once a year, but wedding is once in a lifetime. So wedding put, um, so you really have to decorate your house up nicely. So here we have the door banners, and then we have the stickers and the wall decorations for you to decorate your house. We have got hanging decorations as well. So minimally, you need one at your front door, one at the bedroom door, one in the living room where you're going to have the tea ceremony. That's when you're going to take a chen jia fu, your family portrait. And then in the bridal room, you need one on top of a bed, a big one, and then smaller ones on your wardrobe doors and your mirrors as well. Okay. So all the things I've just shared uh, are very general. They are non-dialect specific. So if you want uh, to know more about your specific dialect group, please contact us below. We we'll actually share screen now. I'll show you, uh, we have got five outlets across the island. So uh, you can go to the one nearest to you, or you can always, um, you can always uh, contact us via the, the online channels. We have got WhatsApp, we have got Facebook, we have got uh, Insta as well. So this is where you can get us at. So now I'll answer some Q and A. Uh, yeah, answer some questions. So we have got some questions coming in. Yes, so hi Michelle. Hey, hello. 
Hello, hello. Very informative, <laughs> right? I, this this is not the first time we are meeting. Every time you come on, I learn something new. <laughs> oh, really? Thank you. That's a lot yeah. more actually. <laughs> yeah, because there's there's quite a bit of info, right? I think I think like um, it takes a while to absorb as well, right? But I think yes, with the with an expert um like yourself uh, uh being able to consult uh, our our um viewers as well, it it really does help a lot. So yeah. Uh yes. Uh, so Michelle, we have some questions. Uh, um, for Kuota Li, right? Do we okay? Charmaine and uh, Chanel wants to know for Kuota Li, do we follow the groom's dialect or the bride's dialect? Okay, this really depends. Uh, we have got uh, certain food items we will follow the bride's dialect. So, for example, the food items that you send over to the bride side will be according to the bride's dialect group because they'll be requesting for their dialect food items to be sent over. Mm. And then uh, for certain items, you have to follow the groom's dialect group. For example, the candles. The candles, you have to follow the groom's dialect because it's to be lit on the wedding day. So, on the wedding mm. day, you'll follow the groom's dialect. So, mm. um, it's very, for dialect specifics, right? Uh, what we suggest is really contact us directly with both you and your husband's dialect group. So uh, normally for yourself, you'll follow the dialect group of your father. So uh, it's your bride's father's dialect and the groom's father's dialect. That's your own dialect group. So you let us know and then we can actually advise further according to every single item and every single step of the mm. way what you actually can do for your own dialect group. Yeah. I think uh, Joshua was asking that same question as well. I hope that that has answered your question, guys. So I think the best solution will actually to be to uh, head down to uh, your shop, right? To uh, actually have a chat with you because I think there are some things that you can pick out. Some things must be done uh, uh, for, for both sides, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Chanel also wants to know, can my mother pass down her tea set to me or do I need to get a new set? Ah, okay. You will mm. need to get a new set for the groom's tea ceremony. So okay. the tea ceremony at the groom's side will be using a brand new set. That's because the tea ceremony at the groom's side is actually the uh, wedding ceremony, the Chinese wedding ceremony. So after the tea ceremony, that set is actually to be kept by the couple. So it belongs to the couple themselves. So at the bride side, so over at the bride's house, when you do the tea ceremony, you can use the set that your mother used during her wedding. So that's when mm. you pass it down. Yeah, so right. that's when you can use a pass down set. So at the bride side, you can use the set that mother used for her wedding. So if you really, 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 really cannot find, then you get another set. It's best to find mm. it. So a lot of mothers actually keep it, you'll be surprised. Hmm. So, um, yeah, after digging through some stuff, they'll actually find it. So, yes, you can use um, that set at the bride's house, but at the groom's house, you need a new set. Right, I see. Okay, so that means uh, bride's side uh, use, uh, can use bride's mom's, and yes. then uh, at the, the groom's side, that will be your set to pass down to future generations, correct? Yes, so you need a new set, and this set is bought by the bride's parents. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hope that answers your question, Chanel. Okay, uh, just a couple more questions here. Kathy wants to know, due to COVID-19, how does Kuo Ta Li and other customary ceremonies work? Because uh, right now, we can't exactly have a full-fledged banquet. Uh, so, And also, must the matrimonial bid be at home? Can it be at a hotel instead? Mm, okay. Due to COVID-19, this is a very common question nowadays. Uh, a lot of mm. couples come in to ask us this question. So uh, a lot of, because they kind of have a banquet. So now the, the law is 50 packs for ROM or 50 yep. packs for a banquet. So there's yes. a lot of restrictions. TSC man, you can walk around. So when you go and fetch mm. the bride, you can only have five people. So if you have a videographer, photographer, uh, plus the groom, that's when you, and, and a driver, you have only one brother. <laughs> you can, mm. you can show me. <laughs> yeah. Or you can. Uh, have your Xiongti all double up as your videographer, photographer, and your driver also can. So that's you five people ma. coming to the You have your Xiongti is more than two. Unless your you brother, sister, yeah. 全部是, uh, the the professional one. So So they will split it into five packs per table. So you have ten tables. So mm. what happens is nowadays, a lot of people will actually do the Kuo Ta Li before the ROM and then the tea ceremony on the ROM day. Oh. And the banquet will come after. 
Mm. So the banquet, they can postpone it. Some people postpone the 2021, 2022, mm. depending on what they prefer or what they feel that COVID will be over by then. So uh, commonly, because nowadays, uh, they just want to, you can do whatever, because Kuo Tali can be done and tea ceremony can be done. So a lot of people would like to get this you know, done and over with and then banquet will come after. So it's actually fine. So they will ask us, uh, you know, when is the actual wedding day then? The Chinese wedding day will be the tea ceremony day. So let's say you have a tea ceremony or RM day, that's that's the Chinese wedding day. So the banquet day is actually a day when you celebrate with all your relatives and your friends. So it's actually a celebration day. Mm. So you can actually split that up. So tea ceremony don't really have to be done on the banquet day So It can be done on the RM day. I see. Mm. And then the mat yeah, very interesting. Matrimonial <laughs> bid. Yes, yeah. matrimonial bid be at can home. Be hotel? Can it be okay? The matrimonial bid is supposed to be set at a place where you will return to after your wedding. Oh. So it's best to be yeah, it's best to be done at a house. Let's say for example, you're gonna stay in the groom's house after the wedding. That's where you set mm. the matrimonial bid. Mm. If you're going to be at the bride's house after the wedding, that's where you set it at. So mm. a lot of couples nowadays waiting for their new houses, they might still stay with their parents. They don't move in together first. So you can actually choose the groom's house or the bride's house to set a bridal room. Yeah, it's just symbolic. So you set mm. your matrimonial bid at either of these houses. It just represents mm. a place that you return to as a couple after your wedding. Mm. Or if you have your place already, if you already uh, uh, yes. gotten your BTO, yeah, then it, it, you put it in your new flat, lah, right? Yes, you can. So uh, mm. when, if, if, your, if your flat is all done up and then nicely renovated and your bed is mm. in, you can actually do it there as well. So mm. most of the time, if, it's not done at a hotel. I see. So if mm. you're one of the lucky ones, you can do it in your own, uh, in, your, yes. in your new apartment already, yes. Okay, so uh, thanks, Katie, for your question. Hope that answers as well. All right, so uh, I think we have one final question for you before we let you go, Michelle. It is from Gina Tan. Do you sell everything in a package since everything seems to be needed? Haha. <laughs> Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> mm. Our packages are actually all catered to the different dialect groups. So you can actually yeah. come and find out. We do have from packages, uh, small packages to, you know, large packages that has everything inside. So you can mm. come and find out and see which one is uh, best suited for you. So mm. yes, we do have everything in a package. Okay, fantastic. So I hope that answers your question, Gina. So also, I think if you need to uh, consult uh, with an uh, expert on, on, you know, these matters, right, they have five outlets. It's already on the screen, guys, right? So just go ahead and look at um, the webinar. Screen. Oh, it's off already. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but anyway, yes, please do head on over, right, to uh, the Chinese wedding shop to set up an appointment, right, with Michelle. And uh, of course, uh, her and her team will be able to advise you accordingly on uh, your dialect groups as well as what you need to know and what you need to do what you need to get as well right so thank you very much michelle for your very informative thank you. um, always learning something new when uh, we see you all right, thanks for <laughs> yeah, this uh, thank you. <laughs> all right Bye. thank you michelle that was michelle from the chinese wedding shop